Note you're not going to be replaced by AI. You're going to be replaced by people using AI. So today's video is to elevate your stack is to get you acquainted with the top apps on the market so you can become a better professional. And a better professional with an AI stack means being able to take a lot more clients, being able to work less hours, and being able to spend more time with the loved ones. As I keep testing the new AI apps, I once again build up a collection of awesome tools that save me thousands of dollars and hours every month and help other people become more creative and more competitive on the market. One of the tools I'm going to share with you today is something I actually built for myself, but a lot of people started using it and I'm really happy, so I'll tell you about it. And it's been a total game changer for me. You can already try it for free, but let's go step by step. So here are 10 AI apps you need to try this fall. I want to kick off this video with a tool I've personally been waiting for because it solves a huge problem for all content creators, finding and selecting B-rolls for your videos, but also just creating videos in general. Uh, you know, we've all seen Sora and all of those apps and we've been waiting for them to arrive. So now basically AI does everything for you and the quality of the B-roll is seriously impressive. The tool is called InVideo and they're sponsoring today's video. InVideo AI's latest update is a game changer, offering much more than what tools like Sora, Runway or Pika provide. InVideo V3 helps you create full-length videos using generative media with just text prompts. We're gonna try it right away. I'm gonna show you what it comes up with. And these videos can be anything from a story to a product ad to a promo video and even educational and infotainment content. What I love the most about NVIDIA V3, it doesn't just generate individual clip or assets, it creates a complete ready to publish video, which I'm gonna show you. You will need to hire an editor or spend hours piecing clips together. Let's try to do something. So here am I in NVIDIA. I have this beautiful prompt, drone view of waves crashing against the red cliffs along Big Sur, generate a video. It's gonna take maybe a couple minutes. All right, it's here. Let's watch. Am I the only one who didn't know? Big Sur's Garay Point Beach is this breathtaking? Picture this. Dramatic cliffs that plunge into the turquoise Pacific, waves crashing with white-capped fury against the rugged shoreline. The golden light of the setting sun casts an ethereal glow. See, it already cut the bureau. The whole scene looks like a painting. And there in the distance. So this is basically B-roll, but you can also create the whole video. Make me a long video about the 10 most incredible wonders of India and their history. From the snow-capped Himalayas to the sun-drenched beaches, India is a land of extraordinary contrasts. Join me as we uncover 10 of the most incredible wonders this land has to offer. This is India in all its glory. If you want to change anything, just ask the AI. Oh my God, oh my God. And I can even clone my voice to use it to narrate, which makes the entire video creation process, what, fully automated? This amazing feature is rolling out in the next couple of weeks and will be available to everyone. So click the link in the description to check out NVIDIA AI now. And if you use my code, you'll get double the video creation minutes for the first month in the current version. Creating videos has never been easier and it's just mind blowing. Okay, after we've been blown away by this, my app will be a little less impressive, but I still want to show it to you. So basically my problem is I create a lot of content. I have my Telegram channel in Russian. I have emails in English. I have three YouTube channels. I have two Instagrams. I have LinkedIn. And I tried hiring people to help me with text posts because I already create videos. Why don't you just take them and create posts? The thing is, they're not too good. Even if it's a human process text, oh my God, I'm saying this. Yes, it's not AI, it's, it's by a human. It's still not good. It's still not as good as I could do it. So I started, of course, using ChatGPT to do voice to text. But the problem is it creates nice text, but they're not the best for social media. So what we did, we created a Telegram bot. I like using Telegram. Uh, this is the app that my whole team uses. So we created a Telegram bot. It uses ChatGPT 4.0. We fed it with 100 sentences that are the best for starting an email or a LinkedIn post. We fed it with the best texts. We fed it with the right layouts. And uh, basically you dictate whatever you want. Uh, and it creates a beautiful text for your social media. Let me quickly show you how it works. So it's called Ghostwriter and uh, you'll see some text in Russian because uh, it's in Russian and in English because I speak two languages. I need everything in two languages. Now let's start. My daughter Emily just started school in California and I was just blown away by the bad quality of school lunches. They are served low fat milk. Why would you serve low, low fat milk to a kid? Uh, it's just basically sugar, no nutrients. Um, they have waffles, they have muffins full of sugar, they have 
uh, non-organic uh, chicken fries. They, they have non-organic chicken, french fries. Like, when I see that lunch, I try to feed her as healthy as possible. But if I put something healthy in her lunchbox and then she sees those lunches with Cheetos or whatever they're giving them, of course she eats that. So I was in the market looking for healthy snacks and uh, I found there is a gap. Uh, so I am currently researching a business idea that I might work, work on, but also I started investing in um, healthy startups. I recently invested in Gilish, which makes popcorn with just organic popcorn, ghee and salt. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So, uploaded the voice text. It is working on it. There we go. The shocking reality of school lunches. My daughter Emily just started. Beautiful. And also what, what I can do, like if I just don't like plain text and see how short it is, how nice it is uh, for a social, for like a short email or a Telegram post or a LinkedIn post. And I can also add emoji. Um, there's like this button see it transforms it into something even more readable why low fat milk sugary waffles and muffins searching for healthy alternatives Re recent investment the only thing it didn't get but i think i mispronounced it keelish um that's it i just copy and paste and there we go so uh you get three texts for free and then it's 5.99 a month you get unlimited texts with your subscription yeah it's available on telegram only for me honestly it's been a game changer because the thing with texts if you're a creator and you need to create a text and you're in the middle of doing something like you're at costco shopping you can't just stop and create a text you have this idea you go back home and maybe by the time you're home you have other things to do so you just lose the idea and people feel the emotion even if they're just reading your text and once i started using my ghostwriter app i just see how much more engaged people are and it's so much better than a copywriter because it's cheaper and faster so it writes lively engaging texts that maintain your unique tone of voice and it does it is so if you use telegram if you write posts for a lot of social media platforms let me know what you think about this app and don't forget that you'll find the links to all the tools in the description okay the next tool is gonna blow your mind away it's called notebook lm it's google's new feature that lets you interact with your documents. So it can instantly turn documents, slides, charts, and more into engaging podcast style discussions with just one click. These conversations are so entertaining and sometimes a little weird that the feature has recently gone viral. You can use it as intended to narrate documents for convenience, or you can get creative with it. So what I did, I took this notebook LM, I uploaded my script for shorts. Uh, I've been doing a lot of British versus American English uh, shorts for my Lingua Marina channel. And so basically it created a summary of all of the scripts. Uh, you can interact with the documents, you can ask questions, like remember I showed you chat PDF, did something similar. But here you can do deep dive conversations to hosts, English only. Let's generate a conversation. British versus, all right, so are you ready to dive into some seriously quirky British versus American English. Let's do it. Preparing for this deep dive with you, well, it brought back a hilarious memory for me, you know, when I was- It's crazy how real it sounds, oh my God. In London, I tried ordering chips, thinking I was gonna get like a big old plate of French fries. Oh, I can imagine. The look on that waiter's face, priceless. And then he brought over this plate pile high with, what else, but like thick potato wedges. It was a humbling moment for sure. Yeah, the chip thing, it's like a rite of passage for us Americans, eh? It just goes to show, even when we think we're speaking the same language, those subtle differences can really trip us up. Nope. Honestly, it was too good to be true. So basically what you can do now, if you have something that you need to read and you just can't read because you're always on the go, you feed it to Notebook LM and creates this beautiful podcast for you. They're diving deep into topics. Okay. Let's move on. Crazy. And we're just starting this video. The next tool is called Spotter Studio. And it is another game-changing assistant for content creators, this time for my fellow YouTubers. If you've got your own channel, you know the struggle of coming up with ideas that not only hit trending topics, but also align with your channel's niche, resonate with your audience, and match your own interests and expertise, as long as having viral potential, etc., etc. For me, it's a constant challenge, but I found a tool that's made the process a lot easier for me and my team. It's called Spotter Studio. Uh, shout out to Paul Bacow, my friend who actually built it, and I've 
I've been testing it for a while, but it's basically like having an AI producer. It analyzes your past content, channels you're looking up to, and helps with brainstorming, research, and project planning for your videos. Let me show you what it does. So here's uh, my Lingua Marina channel. I already added channels that I personally like, could teach English. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna, let's, let's brainstorm titles and let's base them on related outliers versus like more outliers, because I want to be more. Okay, 30 minute pronunciation tips. Speak like a native, I like it. Let's continue. Uh, oh, actually, let's, let's keep this topic. And then thumbnails. Let's generate a thumbnail. I already um, see it. I actually gave it a couple of my photos, so she kind of looks like me, uh, but she basically helps you brainstorm uh, thumbnail ideas. I like this one when she sits um, at the desk, but I actually want more variations. Oh, I love it. Speak flawlessly. Native secrets speak like a pro. Okay, that's cool. And now let's brainstorm a concept. And it basically writes an outline of a script for me. So if you're creating YouTube videos, you gotta give it a try. While it won't replace your creativity yet, it will help you brainstorm fresh ideas and save your hours of manual research. Okay, let's talk about the new chat GPT 4.0. I'll tell you how I recently used it. Honestly, it's so amazing. So I was signing a contract with a team who I'm co-founding with, and I was like, I don't have time for a lawyer to look at the draft. I just want like some quick feedback. So I told chat GPT, okay, imagine you're my lawyer and I'm a creator and you have to have my best interests in mind. Look at this agreement and come up with things that should be improved. And it just highlighted all the things that need to be replaced or changed. And they are so straight to the point. Like there are not some legal stuff. Like Marina, make sure you write down their responsibilities. Marina, you need to take care of this, this and that. And I was like, okay, I actually agree with the most of things. Can you just write those passages for me so I can insert them into the agreement? And it did that and it's just fascinating. So try the new version if you haven't yet. You know, we've been using it for my Ghostwriter bot and I also got a personal subscription for ChatGPT 4.0 because it's next level. The second way I'm using ChatGPT right now is for generating content ideas. So the way I use it is this. I take a viral reel, I copy the comments, and um, I paste the comments to ChatGPT and say like, hey, these are the comments to a reel that went viral. Obviously my audience loved it and uh, figure out what triggered them in this video, why they watched it until the end and suggest 10 topics for viral videos that could work for me. And I also give a quick background on me like Lingua Marina is my Instagram profile. I like to talk about Silicon Valley, innovation, American lifestyle as an immigrant and kids. Of course, not all 10 will be brilliant, but two or three of them usually end up being solid ideas with real viral viral potential. The next one, I've been waiting for it, by the way. As I mentioned, I use Telegram to interact with my team. I use WhatsApp for some groups and some of the courses that I'm taking. Of course, I have iMessage and of course I have LinkedIn and of course I am on Discord, like I'm everywhere. And the problem is switching between those apps and also just forgetting to answer. This is my problem. Like I see the text, but because I'm working on something else, I just don't answer. So basically there is a solution for you now. It's called text.com. It's a great find for anyone who's tired of juggling multiple messaging apps. So if you're looking to combine all of your conversations from WhatsApp, iMessage, Telegram, Signal, Slack, and other popular platforms in one place, the text app is just perfect for you. No more hunting through different apps to, to find where you'd last texted a client or friend. Everything is neatly organized in one spot. Plus, of course, it has to be AI because we're making a video about AI. The built-in AI can help you summarize messages and even translate them intelligently into other languages. It's super convenient and solves the problem of lost messages and the constant back and forth between messengers. Another app, also something I've been waiting for. Honestly, I've been expecting this from Google, but there is an app called Humata, uh, which helps you manage your files and documents. And let me show you what it looks like. You upload all your files into the app the AI reads and analyzes all the text, and then you get an intelligent assistant that thoroughly understands your documents. Like for me, I have so many companies, uh, and now I have a file with like all the EINs, but I always have like investors ask questions like, what does your cup table look like? Uh, the CPS, what's the EIN? Who are the shareholders? Blah, blah, blah. Or can you send me this doc? And like it's constantly searching through the docs in your computer. If you upload them to Humata, you can ask Humata to not only extract information, but also to create reports based on the documents that 
that you've uploaded. Maybe it's a an agreement to buy a car. Maybe it's your mortgage agreement. Like you can find anything. Humata makes it easy to reference information without having to keep it all in your head or waste time searching for the right sentence in a long PDF. So if you're like me with a lot of files, different companies, a lot of ideas, Humata is gonna take your productivity to the next level. Canva AI. Canva is one of my all-time favorite tools. It has made design so simple and easy to grasp that it's completely replaced all the other apps uh, a lot of people use for creating images, brochures, video thumbnails, and more. But they're always adding new features and they've recently integrated AI into the platform, which is perfect for generating images from text prompts. If you can't find the right image or illustration in stock, you can easily create it yourself in seconds right within Canva. No more switching to other services or paying for extra subscriptions, so if you're looking for an easy to use design tool and already use Canva, definitely check out their AI image generator. You'll love it. And the last tool that I'm using every other day is called Opus Clip and um, it helps us create short videos from long form videos. When we first started, Opus Clip could only identify catchy snippets and cut them into vertical formats. But now with all the updates, it's evolved into a full creator hub. Opus Clip not only extracts wild worthy fragments from long videos, but also adjusts clips for various aspect ratios, detects speakers and moving objects for optimal presentation and pulls highlights from different parts of your video, rearranging them into cohesive viral shorts. It even automatically adds accurate animated captions and inserts contextually relevant B-roll. You can choose between royalty-free stock footage or AI-generated visuals for abstract concepts. Now that's not even even all the new features. Basically what I see, Opus Clip is quickly becoming a professional level video editor. Okay, I know this is mind blowing. That's it for today. I have more apps, but we'll talk about them in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this to the very end. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think about my new studio and uh, I will see you soon in my next videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, newsletter. I'm gonna share more apps in my newsletter. Bye.